Good morning, my friends. Happy day to you. Um, it's Monday around these parts. I'm washing the bed. I'm getting things going. We're about to do school, but um, we're going to be getting some stuff done today. So I thought I'd bring you along. Hope that you're doing really well. I had one thing I wanted to chat with you about before we move on in this shebang of life. We have been taking so much time since vacation. Megan, are you obsessed with vacation? Why do you talk about it all the time? You know what? It just had a lot of significance in my life. Okay. Okay. But we are really taking just time to relax and chill and enjoy. Um, I feel like Europeans sometimes have this, like uh, the Italians taking a little nap here and there, having great food, sitting around, working hard still, but taking time to rest. Is that right? I think so. So we have been taking the time to rest and I can just tell you, I love it. I've been reading books and I've been just, um, I've gotten some books read. We've played some games. We have just breathed. So we're going to continue on with the breathing, but also get stuff done. Today, I do need to cut up pretty much all the fresh fruit in the fridge, make sure that we get that eaten up before I go grocery shopping. Oh, hey, I can see in the back of me. That's weird. I'm going to be doing some grocery shopping this week. So I want to make sure that I have, you know, used up the fresh stuff and not let it go bad and yucky. You come along. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments and uh, I'll take you along. Come on. So we're just snoozing. Is schooling. Is he schooling, but he's having a moment break. And puppy snow puppy. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> All right, Z, let's do this. We're practicing our hand writing. We always start with magic C. Up, straight up, and straight down. Oh. Strong hand. You made it into an eight. <laughs> Check out this feast, using up the strawberries, the grapes, trying to at least, the mandarin oranges, the carrots. We've got yogurt going on over here, and then ranch. I bought these at Costco the other day, Uncrustables and the Crust Offs. Those are the, um, you know, like the Costco brand. But we'll see how they like them. I'm not sure. Oh no, there's Charlotte's Crust Off, never mind. Anyway, I got them at Costco. Oh yeah, and I also have some cucumbers with salt on those. If we need some more, I grab the peppers out, but we are doing fajitas tonight, so. I might not need that. We'll see. I always think we'll eat way more than they do eat, so I don't want to go and get out of control. I just want to take it easy, and then we'll add to it as it goes. I was a very bad girl, and I pulled off all of my nails. <laughs> I'm going to go get my nails done, but I don't think I'm going to add tips to them. I mean, I'm 99% sure I'm not going to. We'll see what happens when I get in there. I might just do a dip on these. It's where um, they put on this polish type thing and then you dip it into a powder and that's the color and it's very, very strong because nail polish, I have like, I guess more oil in my cuticles in my nails than the average Joe. So that kind of, you know, normal nail polish just doesn't stick on to me. Plus I'm always cleaning, washing something. So I feel like stuff just don't stick. That's why I go this crazy route. But I am, uh, Marcus is at home with the kids and I'm going to have a little, you know, me time. We talked about this actually recently. Um, Marcus went to go see a movie by himself and I was like, I love that you're doing this. It's so great. And I said, you know, he's like, I want you to have something you have for yourself. And I said, when I go get my nails done, that is like my thing. He goes, Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's my thing. I'm going to go do it check out my nails guys I kept them short I done did it they look lovely I enjoy them they're nice and hard because they're the dip ones so now we're at Ulta and I've got to find some stuff because I'm running out I really need to get my brow pencil but I can't find it <laughs> Ooh, here's what I love brow whiz I got which one did I get chocolate that's the one bada bing bada bacon and then we're gonna get the Clinique High Impact Mascara. They don't have the foundation that I'm looking for, so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna deal with that. Maybe I can get it over at Target, but not now. I also need a better styling brush um, for when I'm blow drying my hair. I don't blow dry my hair all the time, but when I do, I want to have something like this to help me get a smoother situation going on. My hair is getting unruly. I'm also gonna try this color gloss. Um, to kind of get some shine and glossiness going in my hair. I feel like I've been slack a lacking on that. Glass like shine for three days. Wow. I don't know. I want to give it a whirl. 
This is from Redken, by the way. Also, I gave in and I got a beauty blender. I used to have a beauty blender a long time ago. Let me see if I can find it. This little guy. Um, it's to help put your foundation on. And I used to have one a long time ago and then I was like, forget this. But I feel like my foundation kind of always sticks on my hands and then I have to wash it a ton to get it off. I don't want to do that. So um, home again, home again. We're going to go make some dinner. It's fajitas. Is that a surprise to anybody? It's not to me because we pretty much eat fajitas all the time. We just love them. We love them. So uh, then we'll see what happens. Come on. It's a park kind of day. It is so nice out here. It's about 70 degrees, like 68. Let's be more realistic. But we're having some fun. Guys, don't you love the time change? It's what, six o'clock, Marky? Five and it's just gorgeous. Not even a lick of cloud or darkness. It's beautiful. Mommy. Yep. I'm watching. Go for it. Yay! You girls want to have a race down the slide? Ready, set, go! Yeah! How many of you could do the monkey bars when you were a kid? Not me. Oh my goodness, all the way to the end? Wow. <laughs> Using up some more stuff from the fridge before we go to the grocery store, I cut up all the peppers. I have some of them with the fajita, the chicken mix, but these are just raw. And then I cut up all the tomatoes. They were definitely, they needed to be cut up and I'm going to make pico de gallo as always. Chicken is all seasoned up with our fajita seasoning and then we've got the peppers in there. I'm, I'm gonna check and see if any of my avocados are kind of on the softer side because I didn't pull them out and put them on the counter. So maybe I can make guac, maybe not. Maybe it's just pico de gallo and the chicken and peppers. All right, I got flour tortillas, but I'm really wanting some corn. So I'm gonna heat those up there too. Chicken's cut up. Instead of guacamole, I just went ahead and cut the, um, not the guac, what's it called? Avocado, mm-hmm. And I'll just put that in with everything. We got cheese, we got the pico. Can I just say I'm really glad I made that because those tomatoes were not lasting. Also, I decided to add in um, some black beans that I'll put on mine. I think uh, it's time. Doesn't that look good? Little beans, little avocado. Oh, chicken's in there, it's hiding though. You can't see it, but it's there. Never? Ben? Ben, Will? Will? Have you said, 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 Mr. Rogers? Mrs. Rogers? Mm. Good morning, everybody. Another day, another dollar. And we went to the chiropractor this morning. We hadn't been since vacation, so it had been a long time. We all needed quite the adjustment. And then we decided, why not go to Chick-fil-A? But they're not serving lunch right now. It's still breakfast time. So the girls were playing in there. Now they're not. Uh huh. That's our zoo pen. <laughs> but Izzy and Jojo brought a book, so we've been reading. Joey's reading skills are next level. You know, we got all those books from the library while she was sick. Are you better now, by the way? Hundred percent. She's much, much better. Yes. And so, thank you to all of you that were sending kind wishes for her to feel better. She's better. But. We're just hanging out, having a little chill time. It's so chill in here. We don't ever come at this time of day. So um, very chill, lovely. Little book reading, a little bit of this, a little bit of free lemonade. You know, the lemonade, I don't know if it's free for everybody, but if you have the Chick-fil-A app, this week is a special, I think, sunshine week. And so I got a free lemonade, or you can do the iced tea lemonade combo for free. You might check out if you have the Chick-fil-A app, but anyway. We're gonna get lunch here. Oh, and they even put flowers out for us. These are real flowers. Isn't that nice? It feels very sunshine. We're back home and we've got kids playing, kids schooling. Schooling. Coloring. And um, we got all of the dishes taken care of on the top. 
in the dishwasher. It's like, it's like we've never done the dishes before. That's how many dishes there were, but yet we're always doing them. What is up with that? Okay, in here, we have got, we've got a mountain of laundry, you guys. Plus, I just had all of the laundry done yesterday. It was already done. There's so much more. So while they're doing independent work, I told them my job would be the laundry. When I'm done with the laundry, they're gonna just go put it all away. I'll help everybody. And hopefully that will that will relax us all. I'm actually not gonna start another load of laundry because that feels like a little too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes you gotta know when to stop. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. I am gonna fold them and I know when to hold them. I'm gonna probably listen to an audiobook here or keep my ears alive for whatever they might need with school, but give me just like a split second, this will be all done and you're gonna feel great about it, especially me. I thought this was so great. You know, I said, I'm gonna probably listen to an audiobook. Well, I didn't. Instead, I was listening to Jennifer L. Scott from The Daily Connoisseur. She has a YouTube channel, really enjoy her. And it was talking about how to um, have a better, like use your planner better or something. I'll link the video below. It's a brand new one from her. So she was talking about number one, bringing adventure to your day. And uh, one of the examples she gave was, okay, say you've got five loads of laundry that you have to take care of. And you just think, oh, this is so terrible. Like I've got so much you know, kind of like what I was just saying. And she said, make it an adventure. Put on that audiobook like I do. Put on the, um, like a really good video that you want to watch and make it this time that you plan to enjoy it instead of making it a drudgery. And I usually do that anyway. You know, I kind of get a little sassy about it. I'm like, oh, I gotta do it. I mean, it is kind of a hmm. But bringing some delight to it, bringing some joy to it. And it does bring me joy. I was listening to the vi to the video and, or I'll listen to the audio books that I have and those always make the time go by nicely. And in a way, I kind of look forward to it because it's like my little time to enjoy and get stuff done and um, have something delightful to listen to. I thought that was a good little tip, but maybe you check out her video. She's got a lot of great stuff. She's a lovely woman and she's written a book called, um, called the Madame Chic series. And it was about her time when she was living in Paris when she was in her twenties, I think for college, she stayed with some, uh, a family in Paris and she just learned so much and it really changed her life. And she started writing books and all this stuff. She's very, very lovely. How many of you watch her? Anybody? I'll link it below though. I think you might find it interesting. So I am going to add adventure to my life. My, you know, simple laundering by continuing to listen to my audiobook and my YouTube channel. The mountain was reached. It was reached and then I, I couldn't help myself and I did start another load. These are just towels though. And I find towels to be a very happy thing to fold because it's just simple and they're so bulky that it get you get through it quickly you know so in a little bit the girls and I are going to take care of their stuff the boys are hanging their things another thing that came in is the kids is science I got all the paper out of there so the kids use sunlight for their school for the most part a couple things that we don't but these are the science things we decided to come back to it I've done science in the past through sunlight and I don't know. I think it was the season of life. I just wasn't like into it. And we tried several different science things. I was like, eh. And so now we're back. We just made a full circle. I've got stuff for just all the excitement. Ooh, that's going to be a problem because I do not have a uh, DVD player. So I'll have to figure that out. We might have to find somebody that we can borrow their computer or DVD player or something, because even our computer doesn't do DVDs. Anyway, wah, wah. understanding your brain, Ooh, that's going to be cool. Lifting the lid on what's inside your brain. I love the Usborne books. They're always really good. Anyway, we do book-based curriculum, but then we also have things for experiments. And this is a bigger box than it used to be, so I'm hoping it has even more things in it that we need. I think that's one thing I haven't enjoyed about doing science. It feels like they give you some of the supplies, but then you just need these things that supposedly everybody has at home, but they don't. And so I end up having 17 million, like, I don't know, um, paper clips, and we don't use paper clips, you know, when you just needed one for the experiment. So hopefully all is well in there. Any homeschoolers out there? How's it going for you guys? Blood and guts, oh, it's gonna be very exciting. I love the children's encyclopedia from Usborne. That one's a really good one. Germs, 
Yeah, we're gonna have fun. What's inside our experiment box? Oh, it does look like many things are coming with us. Oh, plaster of Paris, even a crayon. See, this is what I like. Just give me everything. It makes doing, oh, look at this, you guys. The paper clips are here. I don't have to buy a million of them to just use one or two. Love it. This is gonna make for a happy time. Yeah, there's tweezers. Oh yeah. Broccoli look like a tree? That's a good question. Is it light one? Look at all the tree trunk you chop down. Chop, chop, chop. Why do you not want these parts? Those are kind of yucky. I need to taste them. They have all kinds of things on them. This is a big bush. This is the forest. We were waiting okay my friends chicken is done broccoli's done rice is almost done and we're gonna have dinner hi everybody it's another day and just tons of things are going on we have the guy upstairs putting in the tile to the bathrooms so that's getting worked on very exciting we took the kids to get haircuts today Joey got a haircut boom we just had her not um, dry it because uh, we needed to get an extra kid in there since Zion decided that she was gonna have herself a little haircut. Um, George is out there. Hi, Georgie, I see you. We'll let him in in a second. But Joey's helping out here with the lunch. She's figuring all that stuff out. We're working together. Yesterday, they started ninja classes. So we're gonna have ninjas out here. Everybody but Nola. I don't have it for her age quite yet, but they have a little ninja class at the gymnastics place. So, you know, American Ninja Warriors, like the kids are working on being American Ninja Warriors. And we went to the park yesterday because the nice, because it was really nice weather. Here it has been lightning and thundering, not a whole lot of rain. Just outside of our area was hail. I was talking with um, my friend who does their hair and she was saying, oh yeah, I was hailing as I was coming in. I went, oh, wow. So, exciting times around here. Shall we have a little peek of what's going on in here? Oh, guys, surprise, we're getting an orange floor. No, not even close. This is just the first step. Then we got some more going on over here. They've gone to lunch, and when they come back, maybe there's gonna be some tile getting put down. <laughs> Joey, okay, so weird snack today. They're having eggs, and Joey, from start to finish, she's getting it done. And then uh, she also, I know it looks like breakfast here because we have syrup and Nutella out, but those were part of snacks too. We had a weird snack. So she's been really making lots of little things these days all by her lonesome. I want to be the maker now. You want to be the maker now? <laughs> Yesterday, all day, I picked up some Pillsbury ready to bake bunny shaped sugar cookie dough. And um, we're gonna eat some of that. And I love that it says it's safe to eat raw. I don't think. I've had sugar, yeah, maybe I have tried sugar cookie dough before. This'll be yummy, little fun thing. I don't know if the bunny's really all that cute, but it's something. <laughs> I think the bunnies are kind of cute and smiley. Yeah. I had no idea that this is what they look like before they're made. I've obviously never made these before. Okay, they're gonna turn into a cookie, I guess. George. Okay, so we had to put a cone on him because he has been licking and we don't want him to do that. He's gotten better about it, but today I decided he needed a little cone so that we didn't have to, you know, keep an eye on him as closely because we were trying to stop him every time, but he looks absolutely pitiful. And I keep catching him just <laughs> with his head all the way down staring at the floor. Poor thing. Aww. Georgie, you don't like it, do you? I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Good thing I read the directions. It said that these don't spread very much and it's a true story. Also that you're not supposed to let the edges get browned because um, I guess then they're too much, but here they are. Do they taste good? I don't know. They taste like a sugar cookie. I call that a win. Yeah, it was good. Not overly sweet, just something. Are you guys getting tired of seeing all my updates? We must go peek. Is that even possible not to? Let's go look at the floor now. Oh, we like it. So originally we had talked about having bigger stones put in or bigger tiles put in and they didn't have them in stock anymore. So we just got these they are like six by 12. I think, no, that's not right. Well, if I had my measuring out, I could tell you, but I'm not even gonna try right now. And they're in thirds. So they have like the subway tile look and then they have just straight line kind of look. We're doing the thirds. So it kind of hits the third of the stone above it, if that makes sense. If you can see where the line is right here. It's coming along. The guy was also very nice. He asked for the vacuum and he vacuumed up all of his mess. Everybody has been just so amazing at taking care of things. I'm just, I just never even considered it. Um, it didn't cross my mind that that was part of the whole deal that they would or wouldn't, you know, I just didn't think about it. So it's kind of just shocking, I suppose, every time that I look and I go, wow, they vacuumed it up and they cleaned up their stuff so nicely as if they weren't even here. The only thing that you would know is that there were boxes, so. Hmm. Okay, by the way, I just went and had my hair colored and got it nice and lovely dark. So when I was in Florida, I don't know if it's a combination of the water and the pool and being out in the sun, but my hair really lightened up. I had even a couple people say, oh my gosh, you got you colored blonde. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I didn't. So uh, I went to my friend after this morning, my friend was like, oh, we'll just color it. We'll make it look lovely. So my brother had gotten me a gift card for Christmas time um, to just you know, indulge my myself. And um, this was very lovely. I'm liking it. It's looking good. She got it so nice and smooth and looking lovely. You guys, I need to go home and I need to do some videoing, some editing and get some videos out on my other channel, on this channel, but I'll catch up with you maybe tomorrow. Okay. So hold the phone. I'll be there in a minute. Bye.